So this is Smokey Joe, um, he's five years old and he was an RSPCA uh, neglect case. Um, he experienced violence from humans, bullying from other horses. I think he was uh, rescued with over a hundred others um, and he's since been rehomed to the lady who owns him now. Um, so what we've got here, he's had a few problems with his mouth. Uh, so we've actually got him, we've got a bit in his mouth. Um, but we were actually driving him off the nose band as well. And you can see here he's just coming down the road, absolutely no problem at all. The lady wants him to go as a pair with her other horse. Um, and the problem is our other horse is um, the other little pony, Nugget, is absolutely lovely and what we don't want to do at this stage when they're both newly broken is to put Smokey Joe alongside Nugget and have him upset him but apart from that no other problems with him, he's a, a lovely little pony and it's uh, nice that we've been able to get him to the stage where he can go in a carriage and be driven down the road and um, you can see coming down here He's had the breaching on his quarters, turning him round, not a problem. And if you look here, you can see where we're driving him off of. Um, and he's just going along quite happily, giving him something to do. Um, you know, and obviously after being rehomed from the RSPCA, it's nice that he's got a life and he can go home and be driven out. And then next year, the plan is when he's got a few more miles under his belt, um, then we'll have him back and put him as a pair uh, with Nugget. And here's little Nugget. Oh, you don't, really? Yeah. Fine, pass. Go along, mate. Go on. Get up, mate. Come on. You good baby. You good little darling. Go on. On you go. Come on, baby boy. Just giving him a little canter here to prove that you can stop him. And today we've got nugget out. These two Frisians in front, they're nothing to do with us, they weren't trained by us and they're not from our yard. Um, but one of our neighbours has taken up carriage driving. Um, but as you can see, little nugget is uh, obviously got a much shorter stride, bless him, but he's not rushing to keep up with these other two horses, you know, even horses that they don't know. Sometimes if they've been driving out the front of them, you know, they'll, they'll break into a canter to try and keep up because they feel like they're being left behind. Um, but you can see he's quite a fair way back from them. Um, but there's no panic, he's not upset by the fact that they're going off in front of him. And we've got Nugget's owners down today. So you can see here she's driving Nugget for the first time out on the roads. He's just being driven in a soft rubber bit. He's going along really nicely, lovely little pony he is. He's three years old and he was uh, previously shown in hand so again the lady wants to do a bit of carriage driving work and as I said before the idea was that um, he went in a pair with old Smokey Joe but this is where you've got two horses with completely different personalities um, obviously with Smokey it's not his fault due to his history but Nugget's very easy going, very laid back um, just a, a lovely little pony you see he's walking down here on a slack rein no problems at all.
past this sign in the hedge, it's actually tucked in behind uh, that bush in front of it. So it's quite a brightly coloured sign from the other side, but you can see it's just gone past it, no problem. Now we're coming down into the high street. So little nuggets just trotting along. You've got all the cars parked on the side of the road, cars coming up towards him, cars waiting behind him. But you can see he's got his little ears pricked forwards. He's not clamping his tail down, you can see he's just trotting along on a nice slack rein, still only being driven in a rubber bit. Brought him down in the trailer um, along with the carriage because by the time We'd driven him into Stockbridge, even though he's quite fit now. You know, we've increased his, his fitness level since breaking him. And by the time he would have driven all the way down to Stockbridge, he, he would have been, you know, a bit tired. And there's no point in having him down in a busy environment when he's tired, because then, you know, he might stand still and tolerate all the traffic. But he's only doing it because he's glad to stand still. Well, we want to bring him down when he's nice and fresh. Because of the way that they're um, linked on their muscles from their top of their neck to their loin, and mm. if they put their like that, isn't that brilliant? It's Tell me what you mean. Say again, Donna. Well, the horse is, is linked on one continuous, like fascial. Um, like connective tissue oh. and it's linked right up through the big glute muscles at the back mm. down through the, all the back muscles right into the nuchal ligament that comes up the top of the head yeah. so to get power to drive it mm. they put their head down mm. and it creates a tension in that along that nuchal line and along all that fascial tissue mm. and it gives them more stability and more strength well. mm. It's brilliant, isn't it? That's why they know. That's why to do they it, need don't. to put their heads down yeah. like that, yeah. and that's why when you've got their head up and like that, when there's so funny some of the you know front some some of the head carriages that they encourage have them right up like that. It gives them a weakness down their back. They want to get their head down. They want, want to get their head down. They want so that. He's just put himself in the position he needs to be in yeah. to yeah. pull. Yeah. 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 Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Go on. That's enough. Don't look at that. <laughs> Don't waste energy turning your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's what we've advised Nuggets owners to do, because they're novices at carriage driving as well, um, is for her backstepper to have a lunge line attached to Nuggets head collar, uh, just so that if anything happens and they need to get down quickly, it gives the driver the confidence that the groom's got hold of the, the pony as well, um, just as a little bit of a, a security thing uh, for the driver more than anything. You know, he's certainly perfectly happy being driven along here, but when you've got two novices, uh, you know, you want to do all you can to make everybody's experience enjoyable, um, and that means thinking about the driver's nerves uh, as well.